What's up guys, it's me odeco 321 making a tutorial on sea sensors. I was requested to do this by my live stream, so I decided to do it. I'm weird, aren't I? Yes I am. Basically, sea sensors let you do stuff like look at uh, what's in um, certain things. Like, for example, with this, I'm looking currently at an MFSU and how much storage there is in this MFSU, but there's many different things you can do with it, which I like. Just need to remember so what the hell I need again. Yeah, this demo, I looked at the video and I'm currently improving on that video. Which is very hard, I've, I've never used Lua or Computercraft before, I'm admitting that right now. Okay, so what do you need for... One second, just check, just finding the right page with the stuff on. If I just... <laughs> No, it was a um uh <laughs> I see too. One second, don't worry, this is some this is for preparation. Right, okay, do that, that ignore that, don't worry about it. So like um right, Sue <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is all this is all fine. Just getting one thing and uh, back to module. Alright, so comp this lets you basically view stuff in other stuff using without being there. So if I wanted to be able to see what's in that MFSU, what, what I'll just generally do is put on a computer next to this, which turns it green, and you'll see why. One second. Ah, damn it, um, is CC something. Mm, whatever. Basically, uh, <laughs> um, I can't. I can't show that to you right now. But I'll show it to you soon. So, we want to start going to using sensors, right? You want to start being able to view your stuff and show it off to other people. I'm sorry, but I can't put it onto monitors because I've never used Lua before. I'm learning it, don't worry, I'll be doing computer craft soon, sooner or later, but for now, you just have to put up with my lack of knowledge of anything. So, what do you need? Do you, you um, see sense, CC sensors, basically, well, sensor craft really, um, gives you a sensor controller and a sensor. These two bad boys. If you stick them, that if you stick this one, that's a com that's a computer, isn't it? <laughs> These two bad boys. If you stick this one down, the stuff that's in the background over here, I think it's probably my mass fabricator, to be honest. But I will <laughs> Oh, hey, it's finally turned red. When it turns red, that means it's do. That means it's got stuff. Um, that means it's um on the same channel as whatever else is red. Sorry for moving around too much. I'm gonna set myself as owner also. Um, when it's got something blue, it means it's got industrial craft, but if I take that out and stick this in, instead, it turns grey. Cool, isn't it? Um, okay, and then the reactor content, I'm not actually sure what that does. So, uh, for example, if I want to stick my mass fabricator next to it, um, you look down at EU storage and it's suddenly got targets. You use the arrow keys to go up and down, by the way. If you want to look at what this target is, you press the right key and it goes to this. Which shows you tier is a tier three storage, so it goes from tier one bad box, tier two MFE, tier three mass fabricator. The maximum storage, which is that much, ten million, I think. I was right. How much energy it has and its current output, and if it's on redstone mode, which means that it adds more, it increases the output. I think I'm never very really sure. So anyway, for example, if I want to start sticking solar panels next to this um... actually I'll just put a low voltage one so it's a little bit faster <laughs> um... let's stick this, let's stick this away now if I go here again and I go into EU storage it's now got it's now got the path of energy it's got but if you keep pressing I forgot how to Get it so every single time you load it up, it refreshes it to the latest stats. I'm not sure how to make it automatic again. <laughs> uh, but if you've got more than one thing, you just use the left and right. So, for example, if I sur completely surround this with mass fabricator, well, all four sides, and go to e storage, there's all this, and it goes on to next, next, next one. 
And to prove that it's different each time, I'm going to use um stick like that. So each one's in different power. So you got that one there, then you got this here, this, this, see? And you just go back and forth. It's pretty cool. And and it's really enjoyable. Plus anyway, this stuff here you can also link to computer craft. What? Yeah no, you can link it to computer craft, that's awesome, right? I've honestly never used computer craft before today. <laughs> Just submitting that right now. So if I go to slash cc sensors slash console, it brings me up to this. Um, the cc sensors console program version, the third version of it. This here, it lets you select a sensor, which is currently just sensor. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you also one more thing about the sensors. You can check create disk, right? So I now want to, um, and you want to connected to this to be able to do stuff. So currently these two are unconnected. That you, you, you want them both connected, don't you? So you want this here to be able to detect the sensor so you can start doing stuff another. So what you do is you get an empty trans a blank transmitter card you can use and you basically you click new. Um then you can either right click it which automatically sticks it so it's like that. Or you can stick this in here and it turns the controller. Yeah, right. I just keep one in there because I can. <laughs> um, and then what you do is you stick another one of these into here, and now this should eventually turn red if it is being good. Why are you know being good? <laughs> um, Right, it's on channel frequency one. So yeah, um, so yeah. Now, what you wanted to do to be able to detect certain and the way actually no, first I want to tell you how to make these don't I? Yes, I do. So to make a sensor controller, what you need is these four, three things: cobblestone, four of it, um, computer iron chip, and a blank transmitter card. The computer iron chip is is used by using six sticks, one iron, and two computer resin chips. Which is three redstone and six sticks. All right, you still you you're still with me, right? How are you? I'm, I've honestly lost myself. Now to make the transmit transmitter card, which is like stuck in the middle here, um, what you do is you need five five cobblestone. I can't count two redstone torches and a computer redstone chip, which is made again by like using that. <laughs> um. The way to make this, the actual sensor, is by using cobblestone, co computer resin chip, and a stick. And there you go. You've got your machine stuff. Now, what you need to do to be able to make it sense stuff, um, you use one of these many, many things. Um, you can make it so it detects different world aspects, like what chunk it is and what's changing. Um, see what the inventory of certain chests are. See anything to do with build craft. How much power there is in something, anything in forestry, red power, EE, for example, how much um, EE is in a condenser, um, that I'm not sure, thermocraft is not in tech it, and proximity. I'm going to be using for this example both um, equivalent exchange and. Um, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Never knew it does that. <laughs> Random. And industrial craft. So I'll stick this in here. Now you suddenly see all this stuff. For example, you can see this note. Um, reactors mean it's like create something that creates energy. EU storage is something that stores energy. Wireless EU storage is something like. Uh... What's up, guys? It's me, Odeco321, making a tutorial on C sensors. I was requested to do this for my live stream, so I decided to do it. I'm weird, aren't I? Yes, I am. Basically, C sensors let you do stuff like look at uh, what's in um, certain things like for example with this I'm looking currently at an MFSU and how much storage there is in this MFSU but there's many different things you can do with it which I like just need to remember so what the hell I need again yeah this demo I looked at the video and I'm currently improving on that video which is very hard I've, I've never used Lua or computer craft before I'm admitting that right now Okay, so what do you need for one second? Just check, just finding the right page with the stuff on. 
if I just <laughs> no, it was a um, uh, <laughs> I see too. One second, don't worry. This is some, this is for preparation. Right. Okay. Do that, that. Ignore that. Don't worry about it. So like um, right. Sue. So <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. This is all. This is all fine. Just getting one thing and uh, back to module. Right. So comp this lets you basically view stuff in other stuff using without being there. So if I wanted to be able to see what's in that MFSU, what, what I'll just generally do is put on a computer next to this, which turns it green, and you'll see why. One second. Ah, damn it. Um, it's CC sentence, isn't it? Whatever. Basically, uh, <laughs> um, I can't. I can't show that to you right now, but I'll show it to you soon. So, we want to start going to using sensors, right? You want to start being able to view your stuff and showing it off to other people. I'm sorry, but I can't put it onto monitors because I've never used Lua before. I'm learning it. Don't worry. I'll be doing computer craft soon, sooner or later. But for now, you just have to put up with my lack of knowledge of anything. So, what do you need? Do you? Um, C sense, CC sensors basically, well, sensor craft really, um, gives you a sensor controller and a sensor. These two bad boys, if you stick them down, if you stick this one, that's a com that's a computer, isn't it? <laughs> These two bad boys, if you stick this one down, peace out, guys.